Hello wonderful people. Today this episode I actually plan to do something very very special. It's not that my part is going to be special, the fragrance itself, the content is going to be special. I'll be doing an initial impression on this fragrance because I'll tell you the reason. And it 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 might sound very really funny to you, but uh, actually that's what I felt. And that's the reason I'll uh, the reason I'll tell you soon why I want to do it today initial impression. And this fragrance actually is from House of Rasasi. You guys know my love for Rasasi. And this fragrance right here is from the Borouge collection. It's called uh, Atar Al Borouge, okay? So they have Oud Al Borouge line, they have Atar Al Borouge. So my pronunciation could be wrong. I do not speak Arabic anymore. I used to learn Arabic in my university just to pass the exam and everything. But uh, the fragrance we are looking at here is called, uh, let me read because I, I read I wrote down a lot of stuff today and I'm gonna be very descriptive today so the particular fragrance right here we have it's I have just the bottle and I'll show you in a bit it's called Al Jazibiyat Mask Tabriz okay this EDP concentration 50 ml bottle they come in do not have a box and this is like an exclusive Rasasi collection very rare very very rare very hard to find and very pricey okay and I have tons of notes here i was reading i was doing some reading initially and this is not going to be your like other reviews where i make silly jokes i'm going to be becoming a little bit uh silly in a sense that i'll be uh, doing some cheesy jokes and stuff no it's not going to be in this episode this epi episode what i decided to do this fragrance review today uh i think this fragrance it's sort of like a journey in a bottle and i haven't taken the journey yet quite yet but i have used it once and I'll show you <laughs> something interesting. So this line, I actually know about the Borouge line. I know about from Mr. Oz as well as Nikhil Bhai. Uh, both of them are kind of like really in love with this line and they absolutely treasure it. I think Nikhil Bhai was the first one. I saw the uh, three Borouge line, the Udal Borouge line. There are three in that line. So there are Abir Malaysia, Ru Al Assam and Asrar Indonesia. So I think there's another one. Uh, Cambodi somewhere uh, I, I don't I don't remember is it Udal Cambodi or something like that I, I do not quite remember but there are five in the collection so another one from Atal Atar Al Borouge line is uh, the Lamat Mask Tabriz that one I don't have any idea just read briefly on them on internet whatever is provided okay so uh, basically the two uh, collection they are separated in two collection the three here the Udal Borouge Abir Malaysia Ru Al Assam and Asra Indonesia, that's part of Udal Burush. Okay, that one I'm not going to talk about because I haven't tried anything of it. But uh, if you want to see the review, see Mr. Oz's review and Nikhil Bai's review. But Atar Al Borush line, the two, Lamat Mas Tabriz, I do not have it. I'm going to talk about Al Jazibiyat Mas Tabriz. I'm still not used to the name. It's a very long name, but there is a history. Now, before I start it, why I want to do it? This fragrance the experience of one day one evening wearing i was going to meet my friends somewhere i was going just taking a ride you know from my place to another place and uh, i was wearing this fragrance like two sprays one i did here i didn't have any idea you know this fragrance what it's what to expect or whatever just sniffed it briefly on our meeting first uh, two days back in jonah future park with our friends but with all the other fragrance it got mashed up i couldn't experience it properly so yesterday i did a proper wearing and i did here is my shirt let me show you i wore it here okay so when i spray here it got some of it caught here so when i sniff it today this fragrance it's just heavenly it's just so beautiful guys i mean it, it almost like I can skip a heartbeat here, you know, and then I can smell it. I'm not gonna wash my shirt, you know, it's gonna be like sounding funny, but This fragrance right here The Borouge line you have to experience one of these. I I don't know how these are extremely expensive I don't know how I'm gonna experience all them, but I'll, I'll come to the fragrance in a bit. So yes uh, this fragrance the journey was just I was sitting there it was hot and humid it's fragrance perhaps is not for hot weathers, but the sillage, the smell, every now and then, how it was enticing me, capturing me, captivating me, moving me. Yeah, that's why I decided, what if something goes wrong? I just got for it, you know? <laughs> if something goes wrong, I cannot talk about this, share this experience with you. Something goes wrong. Uh, I don't want to make it too dramatic, but it is, yeah, I guess. But I wanted to just do initial impression, tell you how good this is. You guys need to look at this line, okay? These are some of the most, most I mean, to my nose so far, I've not experienced so many niche fragrances yet, but whatever I smelled until now, 
few thousand fragrances i guess this fragrance right here is one of the most up class most polished and heavenly fragrance i ever smelled it's like one of the most heavenly smells i ever smelled in my whole life okay so here you go some of the information let me get it out of the way then i'll talk about the fragrance okay so this fragrance is uh, uh, the name okay so this fragrance the tabriz you know this line there's lamat mas tabriz and then you see al jazibiyat mas tabriz which one is which this one is uh, what is tabriz tabriz actually i was curious to know what is the meaning of the name so whatever i got here you go um, tabriz is actually kind of like a persian city okay so here you go sorry i'm gonna <laughs> read from my notes okay uh, it's like uh, one of the most populated city in iranian uh, azerbaijan you know like uh, so iranian slash azerbaijan you know azerbaijan yes and it's uh, one of the historic capitals of iran okay and uh, it's a present capital of east azerbaijan province okay so if you really want to see just google and go to youtube and see you know i'll put a link to the city it's just beautiful city a lot of history there and uh, they are mostly about like their weathers they over there are like cold weather and then have temperate temperate summer okay so basically i understand it's not a very hot province it's a cool province and uh, it's like considered as summer resort one of the best summer resort in that particular zone so they are famous for the tourism city of tourism and carpets i have seen their carpets it's just persian carpets are some of the best carpets in the world so they got award for those two uh, criteria so there are people over there not mostly iranians or persians they are mostly azerbaijanis okay azerbaijanis yes so i have had friends in malaysia when i studied it's a good thing experience you have to go overseas sometimes to make a lot of friends <laughs> uh, i had my father had best friend because he studied in russia he did his phd there so he had friends from azerbaijan they can speak in russian fluent russian and uh, i had friends from friends from azerbaijan caucasus you know like or ingushetia chechnya a lot of these russian countries uh, i have met a lot of friends okay so they have uh, 1.73 million people there in the city very densely populated and they have a lot of historical monuments some of the monuments would uh, include some of the mosques we call it masjids and beautiful architecture if you see it it's breathtaking it's like uh architectural uh like monuments if you see the picture you want to be there today i decided if i can make it someday i should make it someday just gonna take a trip there such beautiful you know traveling just makes you richer and there is like a it was a traditional residence for crown princess of qajar dynasty so i don't know qajar dynasty but it actually was a city for like a crown princess okay so yes it's a lot of royalty involved so yes so this fragrance right here what is the meaning of this atar al burush uh line the essence actually is like this is how they describe online take a walk in ancient silk roads and fragrant sunlit mosques and parks of tabriz in persia so you know now persia and now you know tabriz so that is the history of uh, the name so here you go now getting into the fragrance i'm sorry i took a little bit long but i have to do this i don't really care if you bash me for it uh, i don't have a box just look at that bottle this is one of the most exclusive bottle you ever see the glass is uh, like apart from this part the glass actually is also nice it's a very heavy glass base it's quality bottles from rasasi but these are the their highest line of fragrance i believe okay most exclusive one anyway and then the juice color is kind of like golden and it almost looks like uh, like a, like laser cut kind of bottle very straightforward but here it has a uh, metal or plastic in rather in front it's written in arabic the names so here the name will say the fragrance name sorry <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of the fragrance. So the fragrance it's called um, once again Al Jazibiyat Mas Tabriz. It's written here. I can separately read it slowly. Okay. So yeah, Jazibiyat. It is. It's written here. So yes, it comes only 50 ml. It's EDP concentration. And the cap when you take it off, it slides out very nicely. Not like click onto place, but it it's secure. You take it out. It's very heavy cap. It's metal. But I wouldn't say this is like crystal or something very expensive material. Nothing like that. But the juice inside it it's very posh okay here is the atomizer and i'm going to reserve this for very 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 special occasion so i'm not going to waste the juice uh, just by spraying when i want to experience then i'll uh, use it so this fragrance the official notes breakdown i have nothing available so i'm just going to rely on my nose what i got and what i smell from it this is supposedly a nice mix of florals okay uh maybe a uh, musk highest uh standards of musk very high quality musk as well as i think there is supposed to be uh some 
oriental like east meets, meets the west something like that that sort of feel so basically what i understand this is going to be a beautiful uh floral uh it's just <laughs> something else it's nothing like you know i i had a review uh, one closest thing i can think of is if you saw my review on rasasi kasamat morhaf this is much less experience expensive than this but if you saw my review on this this was something special when i sniffed that one i mean i was blown away but this is actually uh you can smell a lot like this fragrance in arab countries but this fragrance right here what it does it's unisex okay it has florals so if you guys are like you know those kind of guys hey women's perfume there's florals hey i'm not wearing this if you're gonna be like a child forget it you know this is not for you this is for people who want to experience something from another world okay the florals in this oh my god you know like when i was sniffing it you know like i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna pick up rose maybe perhaps there's rose in it maybe there's peach in it grapefruit in it a lot more going on there is this oh my god the wood at the background is like silky smooth and that's when this fragrance is reminding you of those silky roads even if you haven't been to tabriz but you can almost see the beautiful lights at night time how beautiful it looks from you know mountain top you're just looking at some city well-lit city you know and there's some beautiful blue red yellow different colors of lights in the mosque you know and it's just holy and there is this you can get some beautiful fragrance fragrant rose water from this mosque you know they put rose petals on those water and you just get wash yourself and you just go for prayer it's just so peaceful and i have to keep smelling it from here to describe it and there is man you know <laughs> this fragrance uh, it's like those kind of experience it's nothing like your pakora one fragrances versace fragrance going for clubbing and everything this is like a different world from those so this is expensive how much it is i think it costs you around 120 to 100 30 or 340 us dollars 450 ml so if you convert that it's almost like close to 300 dollars yes that is expensive that is more pricey than aventus but is it worth the money if you can afford it of course i didn't pay that price i paid lesser than that but it's not cheap this fragrance i wanted to get my nose at least one barouche okay uh one of my brother brought it for me uh, but this fragrance if you just blind by anything in life get one of the barouche line that's my i don't think anybody is gonna be like even if you do not wear that fragrance but you'll be like something a most precious thing that you own in your collection which is gonna be rare which is gonna be high of highest ingredients and class all the ingredients they use in this fragrance is beautifully blended it's just like when you spray it first time it's gonna break down notes by notes by notes okay and i'll do a full-on review i'll let you know what notes i got over time but the quality and the longevity on this do not ask me about it. it's gonna last on your clothes for days in my skin before i took the shower it was pretty evident and people were when i go through people it leaves like huge scent trail behind you so it can be worn by a lady it will be beautiful trust me if you, you have a wife buy her this fragrance okay the jazibiat al jazibiat master breeze it can be better than many of your high-end designer or niche fragrance that you pay top dollars for okay so what else i got from it is uh there's those florals and the, the, i think it's not grapefruit perhaps not i'm not the best i think uh if nikhil bhai from india if he uh breaks this down i think he would do a much better job at it definitely no doubt because he is the one who is educated on this okay and he knows he makes fragrances but what i smell as a like when i smell it when i just smell this fragrance it just makes me happy it's a heavenly fragrance and there's nothing like it seriously i haven't smelled anything like it if you want to get a good fragrance that from this uh rasasi forget about the name rasasi i cannot believe rasasi makes this quality they have reached such like status today they can make a fragrance like this this is thousand not thousand it's a million dollar smell i tell you man i love this fragrance that's all i'm gonna say about it let me check it out i mean more i perhaps get some more information perhaps it will come to fragrantica which is not available yet but i'm not gonna solely rely on that i have to see you know how it uh, changes so you those florals the musk the oud whatever particular oud or floral or musk has been used you will get step by step and you'll see you'll be mesmerized by this fragrance it's gonna be hauntingly beautiful again i'm gonna use this term right so check out this fragrance um i'm just as i told you i'm gonna reserve this for special occasion and that's just such a beautiful uh, precious fragrance i'm not gonna call it a price or expensive fragrance no the price if you can afford it 
go for this line okay and next hopefully i'm gonna get a full presentation in the next ones but um, amazing fragrance lovely <laughs> so this is atar al boruj al jazibiyat must breeze check it out i'll do a full-on review after wearing it let's say in the winter because we have winter coming in one month and when the cold weather hits us i think that's the time i will be able to fully experience it if i'm still here with you guys all right so everybody have a very nice day i want to just do this initial impression even though it's very long just leave it out here in case i i don't see any reviews on it so you guys now know that there's something that exists like that is very rare okay so go and check out this fragrance try to get a sample and then you tell me what you think of this fragrance and in the meantime join my group Fragcom bangladesh we do fragrance reviews there chit chat and if you ask any questions i'll answer there everybody have a very nice day i'll talk to you soon bye bye